What's going on, everyone? You know who this is. Mr. ABC Carter. You don't have to be looking too hard for me. You don't. I've been here the whole time because you know what, man? It's my favorite time of the year. Time for college football. Week 1 versus Vanderbilt. Probably make a video about that tomorrow. But right now, I need to help ascend a young man from a terrible lifestyle. A, a, a fan base from a terrible lifestyle. A, a nation from a terrible lifestyle. I'm talking about you, Mr. Big Dog. I'm talking about the entire Georgia fan base. I'm talking about the Dog Pound. First of all, I, first of all, I want to say I want to congratulate you on obviously going undefeated your first season with your NCAA 2013 team on freshman difficulty because that is the only way. That's the only way Georgia's gonna go undefeated. Seriously, man. Let me ask you one question. When was the last time that Georgia, other than a yearly overrated, because they're in the ACC, Georgia Tech team, when's the last time Georgia beat a ranked team? The answer is 2008. The answer is LSU ranked number 13 in 2008. Wow. So, back to my point. What makes you so confident that you're going to go undefeated this season? The answer is simple. Um, he and the entire Georgia fan base are suffering from a common disease called Kool-Aid overdose. Now, it happens very often. Kool-Aid overdosing happened particularly with Tennessee a few years back. Uh, before that, I mean, uh, during the couple years Alabama really wasn't a top powerhouse, their fan base kind of started slipping into it. Uh, I mean, there's a chance that, hell, even a South Carolina can slip into it down the road. I mean, it happens. I mean, other, over in Southern Cal, it's a yearly event. But, let me explain. The reason why Kool-Aid overdose is such a terrible, terrible disease is that it leads to several horrible things. It leads to depression. It leads to pissing on your team's colors. It leads to thoughts of switching fan bases, becoming a two-teamer. I mean, it's, it's horrible. But there is a cure. There's a cure, Georgia fans. Tempered expectations. Yes, Tennessee's learned this. You don't see any Tennessee fans going up here shouting they're going to be national champions this year because they know there's no chance they're going to be national champions this year. I mean, let me explain. I know that South Carolina doesn't have to play such powerhouses as Buffalo, Ford Atlantic, and Georgia Southern. I mean, that's just the truth. I mean, we can't play those powerhouses. We can't compete with those teams, apparently. You know, I guess I guess they're too, they're too above us for us to put them on our schedule. Great schedule, guys, by the way. But let me put it this way. You're missing your star running back. Several of your players are going to be suspended the first couple weeks. If you guys don't get off to a fast start... I mean, literally. Literally, I've heard, I've heard Georgia fans saying, well, even if we lose to South Carolina, we're still going to win the East. Why? Because you fell backwards into it? Is that really what your fan base's mentality is? I just think that's hilarious. Let me put it to you this way, man. You're probably going to lose to Missouri. There's a chance that Andy's going to upset you. There's a chance that Tennessee's going to upset you. I think out of those three games, you're going to lose one. You're going to lose to South Carolina. And you know what? Hell, I wouldn't put it past Florida to beat you guys. Because here's just the fact. Your your team was not that good last year. Can we agree on that? Can we can we agree on that? Your team was not an A class team. Your team has did, would not have deserved to be ranked sixth at the end of the season last year. Can we agree on that? I think that's common middle ground between us. Well then, here's my question: What's changed since then? What's changed since you guys got got beat by uh, Michigan State in a bowl game? What's changed since LSU beat that ass? I mean, seriously.
What's changed since South Carolina beat you for the past two years in a row? What's changed? I think the answer is rather simple. Nothing. Not a single goddamn thing has changed. So, the question still remains, what makes you think that your team's going to go undefeated? What? Exactly. You're a two, maybe three loss team. Probably go to some decent bowl game. Probably lose in some decent bowl game. Probably end up ranked 24th in the nation. I mean, seriously, you guys are appearing all over the who's the most overrated team in the top 10 list. It's amazing. And you can say it's haters. But the truth is just, just so much simpler than that. It's realists. Because no one who isn't drinking the Georgia Kool-Aid thinks Georgia's going to do shit this year. And that's just the truth. But I just wanted to jump on here and try to help you guys understand that you guys are not going to be that good. I don't want to see any of you going out there pissing me on your, hat, on your hats again. I don't want to see any of you crying. Calling for Mark Rick's head because he couldn't get it done with this easy schedule. I think that's probably my favorite question that was asked in the in the top 50 questions going into the SEC season this year. If Mark Rick can't win, if Mark Rick loses three games with this schedule, should he be fired? Truth is, he probably should, because that that schedule is so easy that it remind it's reminiscent of Boise State's annual schedule. It's reminiscent of USC's yearly schedule. I mean I guess you guys are hoping to be the the, 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 the Southern Cal of the of the East and the fact that you try to build an easy schedule back into a bowl game, but I think you'll end up being the Southern Cal of the East and the fact that you're you'll be starting off ranked in the top ten and then you'll lose to to Florida Atlantic and then to South Carolina and end up in some okay bowl facing a Michigan State again, that same Michigan State team that dis that, that 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 showed you up in a bowl game. Exactly. And I mean, I don't, I I could get on here and say the same thing to a Florida. Could get on here and say the same thing to. Well, I can't really say the exact same thing to a Tennessee because I think most Tennessee fans don't expect much this year, and if they do, they're kidding you. I don't think Tennessee is a contender in the East this year. I could be I could be wrong. They could surprise the world by 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 having the the team of gems in the rough, so to say, but I don't see it happening. But uh like I said, I'll make a bandy video probably tomorrow. And uh until next time this is uh Room Ten Twenty saying rest of the East Temper your expectations because, in all honesty, we all know what team is ending up on top this year.